welcome back to my youtube channel so let's talk about the best braiding styles for the summer um, i have been a braider for more than 10 years and most of my clients they do get specific braiding styles for the summer we all know during the summer the weather can be very um, harsh and if you have textured hair or if you have natural hair we all know that it's usually uh, hard sometimes to uh, seal in moisture to our hair and most of my clients they have uh, told me that it's um, they've realized during uh, the summer their hair kind of dries off really fast or it freezes up it freezes uh, faster uh, during the summer because of the harsh heat um, the humidity if you live in places where there's high humidity so um, these are the braiding styles that I do provide for my clients and they do love it and it really protects their natural hair during the summer so let's get into it number one box braids box braids are amazing during the summer now with box braids the hair that we use for the box braid which is usually um, expression hair that hair really covers uh, the hair of your hair of the hair of my clients but it really covers your hair and it pro uh, provides like a cover or a cushion for your hair so that when you uh, step outside if it's high humidity or high heat that uh, the, those extensions really provide like a cover from the harsh environment and um, the harsh humidity that might be outside so uh, box braids are really good and this is something that I always uh, do for my clients they love it especially those with natural hair and since it's uh, three strands for the box braids it really pro uh, provides more cover for it and uh, my clients really love it and with the box braids you can also be able to uh, do a lot of uh, amazing styles if it's too hot you can just put it in a ponytail or you can be as creative as you would like so box braid at a plus for uh, summer and um, also my clients they love it especially if you do not have time to play with your hair or do the natural uh, hairstyles for uh, during the summer box braids are amazing for you number two senegalese twists now senegalese twists don't we all love them my clients do love senegalese twists with senegalese twists is usually uh two strands right and it's similar to box braids the only difference is that it's twisted and for Senate uh, for Senegalese twists, honestly, what I recommend for uh, people who would like to get uh, those type of braids, make sure your hair is more straighter or more silkier. The reason why I say that is because when your hair is natural and you get Senegalese twists, and let's say, for example, you step outside or you're in a place where it's just summer, right? It's hot usually the hair freezes and when it freezes since the senegalese twist is only two strands compared to three strands for box braids your hair freezes and it shows so you can uh, it's usually easy to tell from where your hair ends and which part is for the extension and honestly a lot of my clients uh were had questions about that because they did have senegalese twist before during the summer and they um some of my clients travel to an island or somewhere and they noticed that their hair was really freezing and um because of that not really freezing but they could tell the difference between uh, where the hair ended and where the extension was. So that is the one thing that I would like you all to think about when you get Senegalese twist. Senegalese twist, it is pretty, but I personally highly recommend it to um, clients who have more straighter hair or more silky hair. For that one, it's really good because it really blends very well. You want a type of braids that blends well with your hair so that we cannot tell a huge difference where your hair stops and where the, uh, the extension continues. And that is why uh, my fave is always single braids or box braids. With box braids, since it's three strands, uh, the more a strand it is for three, it really provides more um, more um, 
more cushion and it really covers more of your natural hair Senegalese twist is only two strands so you do not have enough uh, room or enough extension to cover your hair especially when it's natural so it's something to, to think about but if Senegalese twist works for you um, I would highly recommend it during the summer because it is a protective style all we want to do at the end of the day is to get um, a style that will kind of provide some cover for your hair and cover it from the heat, the harsh heat and the harsh environment that we do get during the summer. Um, also, my favorite, number three, would be fall, fall locks. Fall locks are really, really amazing for your hair. With fall locks, a lot of your hair is covered. Like... It, it provides like a kind of like a hundred percent coverage for your natural hair and even if you have relaxed hair it is amazing for you too Fall locks um, covers all of your hair and you're able to style it you're able to put it in a ponytail you're able to do you're able to play with it as much as you want and all of your hair is covered inside so fall locks is amazing and also fall locks you can have fall locks for the winter and the spring too fall locks is one of the stuff that you can have um in many other uh times during the season that you can get so um i would highly recommend that you get fall locks the other one is Ghanaian cornrows. With Ghanaian cornrows, you have large size, you have medium size, you have medium small. Depending on your taste, you have the lemonade braids, which, is, which are in form of Ghanaian cornrows, but on this side, those ones are amazing too. So what I want you to think about is how long do you want your braids to last? Do you want them to, uh, to last for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, two months? How long do you want your braids to last? And that's where you decide if you want um, Ghanaian cornrows, the medium size, the large size. I have clients who usually get just two and that is just for something as a small occasion and that's it. If you want um, something that lasts up to a month, I would say you get the medium small for the Ghanaian cornrows. With cornrows, they do not have a a longer life cycle as much as the braids the individual braids do have so that is something that you really want to think about before you get them also if your hair freezes a lot or um, if your hair does not uh, keep uh, braiding styles for a longer period I would not recommend uh, Ghanaian cornrows or any type of cornrows because it's not going to last as much and if you want to get the, uh, the best out of it I would prefer you do like individual braids, either Senegalese twist, fall locks, or box braids. And also, um, with Ghanaian cornrows, it, it is a protective style. It will protect your hair. And with those ones, it's even easier to get through your scalp when you're applying oil, or if you want to shampoo your hair during uh, while you're having those braids. So those are also good. And it's good also for natural hair and relaxed hair. So that brings me to my other favorite uh, uh, braiding styles for the summer that I do request for my clients, to my clients. And um, the other one is knot, knotless braids. They are really amazing. The knotless braids, um, they are amazing uh, protective styles, especially if you have natural hair and also if you have relaxed hair. The thing with knotless braids that um, most of my clients, uh, I've had to explain to most of my clients about this. So with not less braids, we start with your own hair. And with your own hair, uh, we keep on adding extension piece by, by piece, depending on how thick you want them and how long you want the braids. Now, with not less braids, it is not for everyone. If you have short hair, really short hair, it is not for you. Remember, with single braids, we start with the extension, right? So it is the extension that is giving more foundation to your hair. But with the knot knotless braid, it's quite the opposite. With knotless braid, we start with your own hair and then we add extensions. That means that your hair is supporting the extension. That gives more pressure or more weight to your hair. So you want your hair to be at its healthier state to have knotless braids 
Also, you want your hair to be in a good length. I would say medium to long to the longest. It has to have um, a good foundation for those braids to really hold. And also you want to protect your hairstyle. And also you do want to protect the health of your hair. That is the most important thing. That's why we are having all this type of braids to begin with. So with not just braids, I love it. Uh, most of my clients are falling in love with it, especially those who have long hair. And also it's really light. It's not as heavy as box braids because with box braids and Senegalese trees, we use more extension. But with not less braids, I would say it's not as much. So most of my clients, they love their braids when it's just, it's just not a lot of weight, especially during the summer when they're traveling or they want to just pull it in a bun or when they are working and they do not have time for their hair. It has been amazing for them and it's just been weightless and very, very easily and manageable. Now, it does not last as long as box braids because with knotless braids, we do start with your hair and we have to remember when you step outside, your hair uh, reacts to the uh, humidity, the sun. So that is something to pay close attention to, but it is a great style for the hair, so for the uh, summer, I really, do that for my clients and they do love it also um the other one is spring twist oh my god i love spring twist spring twist is the best invention that was done okay so you some call it spring twist some passion twist they're all similar depending on the type of hair you use i have a client who get spring twist and they love it they have natural hair you can have it as relaxed hair too. But Spring Twist really provides a um, huge amount of cover to your hair and it is weightless. That hairstyle, it is so weightless. It's not heavy. You will not struggle putting it in a bun and then trying to make the rubber bun fit in. No, Spring Twist is amazing. It's effortless, it's easy, it's natural, looks way more natural. And the older it gets, you fall more in love with it. It is beautiful. So with spring twist, the hair, it's it's a different type of hair. It's kind of like um, elastic, which is good because it's, it springs or twists back, right? So once you twist it, it kind of forms more and covers more around your hair. So you barely see the ends of your hair and you, can, you cannot tell where your hair is ends honestly that is what i love about spring twist and then when it gets older it, it's it's like it conforms more to the type and texture of your hair and it looks amazing honestly if you ask me i love uh executing these styles to most of my clients and they do love it it is so easy it is easy to style it is not heavy and when especially during the summer you do not get hot like literally you do not get hot because of that hair it is so light i love spring twists it's one of my favorites right okay and also for box braids and senegalese strips sometimes it can be heavy so it is good to know yourself and know which hairstyle works best for you i have clients who always uh when they get the single braids and um, the Senegalese twist, they always pull it in a ponytail. So we usually do like a good amount of length for them to be able to play with it and pull it up when they want to, put it down, half down, however they choose to do it. So make sure you know what you want, what type of uh, lifestyle you have, and what are you expecting to get from those uh, hairstyles, right? That's always important to think about bef before choosing which hairstyle you want. And uh, I would say those honestly are my favorite for summer. And with those hairstyles, you are able to go through your scalp and also you're able to oil your scalp while you're still wearing those um, braids, which is very important. You still want to put in moisture 
more moisture to your scalp is very important especially during the dry heat or the humidity depending on where you live those are very important and these styles they will allow you they will give you room to be able to get through there and just massage and fill your scalp and run through the water all that good stuff that you need these styles will enable you to do that so think about that but honestly those are my favorite uh, braiding styles for this styles and um, yeah that's it uh, let me make sure okay yes crochet braids crochet braids are amazing crochet braids they cover all of your hair it's just the extension that is outside and that's it it covers most of your hair crochet braids um a lot of people do get crochet braids it, it comes in um braided form it comes in uh hair that is loose whichever you like crochet best crochet braids will be the best for you that will give you cover and protection from the harsh heat and um the humidity that we get especially if you live in texas where this is where i am and most of my clients i do uh crochet braids for them because during the summer they just do not have time and they do not have the patience to deal with their own hair so crochet braids is just amazing but also think about this if you're going um if you're planning to travel where there's water or if you're planning to swim where um if you're planning to do a lot of outside stuff i would highly recommend that you get single braids uh senegalese twists or fall locks or a uh, spring twist those are amazing for you honestly because you'll be able to put them up if you want them uh to be away from your face or away from you right you can be able to pull them up in a ponytail and um just go ahead and have fun while you're outside so um i will highly recommend you guys to have those with crochet it depends if it's the braided hair you can definitely have that and go around the water and swim but if it's the loose extension they usually tend to tangle really fast so if you do not mind that then you can go ahead and have them but if it's something that you do mind and you want to stay uh, longer with the braids i would highly recommend that you stick to the cornrows um or the a single braid senegalese twist or the fall locks or the spring twist so guys those are my favorite styles that i do offer for my clients and they love it especially during the summer they find it to be very easy very manageable and very protective to their hair uh, natural hair which is what we want that's that's my main focus is the health of their hair and they love it let me know if you have any more questions i'll be posting more videos about tips of how to take care of your braids about my amazing um hair food oil that i provide for my clients and please do not forget to visit my uh, platform social media platforms instagram at veras touch of beauty on facebook at veras touch of beauty and this do not forget to subscribe and like share just um share this um video with everybody else uh you never know who likes it we're in the summer we want some cute braids so don't forget to subscribe like and share to my youtube channel thank you so much god bless you bye